Namaste, welcome along to FIX. I'm just going to take you through a bit of a warm up and a few rounds of sun salutation and just let you know how you can build a whole sequence around sun salutations. If you haven't got time to do anything else during the day, especially in the morning, the best thing to do is get up and do a couple of rounds of sun salutation. You can do one, you can do two, and you can also add some bits and pieces in. Before we get started, I'd like you to close your eyes and just tune into your breath for a little moment. Come towards the front of your mat, okay? We're going to start off in Tadasana, so you can have feet in width apart. If you're feeling well balanced, you can have those toes and ankles together, okay? I want you to close your eyes just for a little moment, and I want you to tune into that breath. Really focus on that part, just at the top of your lip, underneath your nostrils. Follow the breath in through the nose, down the back of the throat. Follow down your spine into your belly. You can even place your hands on your belly if you wish. Breathe into them like you're blowing up a balloon. Send the ribs out to the side with a diaphragmatic breathing, like you're blowing up the blacksmith's pillows, piano accordion, and then as you exhale, draw them in. You can even gently blow out through your mouth like you're blowing a wish draw. That engages your internal support system. Breathe right up to your collarbone, nice, full, complete yogi breath. See if you can be mindful of the breath the whole time. And eventually, if you do this often enough, you make it a consistent practice, you coordinate breath and movement, and it becomes like a moving meditation. It's the best thing for you to do every day. Okay, so tune into that breath once again. I want you to spread your feet out, make a connection with the earth. All four points of your feet pushing into the earth, okay? Imagine tree roots coming out from the soles of your feet down to the center of the earth, rooting you down to the ground. Push down with those feet, even slightly draw the heels back, slightly tilt, interior tilt with that pubic bone, that pelvis slightly forward. And while you're visualising those tree roots going down to the centre of the earth, at the same time I want you to draw energy up through the soles of your feet, up through your shins, up through your knees, up through your thighs. It's like you're drawing, pulling your muscles up, like you're pulling up some leggings or some stockings or some nice long socks. Pull up through the pelvic floor. Engage that core, a bit like you're zipping up a wetsuit or doing up a corset. Draw it in, lift the sternum, shoulders come back. Piece of string on the top of the head. Extending you up, chin parallel to the floor, and just close your eyes once again and breathe. And what we're going to do is turn our palms out to the side. We're going to do a couple of sun breaths just to start before we move into our sun salutations. I want you to take a nice inhale breath up. As you exhale, turn those palms out and bring those hands back down by your side. Let's inhale up. Breathing down into that belly, a nice, full, complete breath. Exhale as you bring those hands down. Inhale up, expanding your body. And as you exhale, you contract. It's a rule of thumb in yoga. As you expand, you inhale. And as you exhale, contract. Feel like you're pushing, squeezing that air out as you bring those hands back down. Low. So a bit like you're pushing the air out of a lilo or a mattress, an air mattress. This time we're going to inhale up, bring our hands together. We're going to come down through heart centre. We'll tuck our chin. I want you to roll down one vertebra at a time. We're going to do a couple of spinal roll up, roll down. You can bend those knees. Come on down towards the earth. Touch that ground. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. It's a bit like a slow-mo shot in a movie. Inhale up, extend. Exhale as you come down. Tuck the chin. One vertebra at a time, draw the belly in, come on down. Slowly roll up, you can run your hands at the back of your thighs. This time, inhale up, bring those hands together. Okay, we're going to do a standing half moon. Come over one side, or if you like a palm tree in a storm up in, on the Gold Coast. You can look up under that arm if you like, towards the sky. Couple of breaths here, inhale up back centre, let's go to the other side. Inhale up centre, come down through heart centre once again, tuck that chin, roll down, feel like you're 
head is like a bucket of water, and as you come down, it just empties out. And it's all white. Everything's gone. Slowly roll up once more. This time we're going to come on up. I'm going to get you to take your arms out. We're going to swan dive. This time you can still have bend in those legs and lead with the heart. It's like you're diving off a high board at the swimming pool. This time hands come to shins. It's like an upside down L. Okay. Tuck your chin, reach out from the crown of the head. You want to pull your shoulders away from your ears. Fold back down into a forward fold. I'm going to get you to take your right leg and step back into a runner's lunge, straight and strong. It's like you're on the blocks at the Olympics, okay? Chest up, you want knee over ankle. Nice straight back leg, you're going to exhale back to downward dog, okay? Exhale back to downward dog. It's like an upside down U or a V. Make sure it feels like there's a hook on your tailbone, lifting it to the sky. Then you're going to come up on your tippy toes and float forward into a plank, okay? Now, nice strong plank. If you wish, you can do this on your knees. But I want you the elbows to hug in nice and tight, okay? Shoulders above the wrists. Exhale as you come down. And you can hover just off the earth. Or if that's too much, just collapse. Come on down. Come into cobra, okay? So elbows are in. Hands are underneath the shoulders. You want your neck and spine in line. Tailbone goes towards the heels. Those legs are active. You're not squeezing your butt cheeks, but they're active. Tuck the toes, exhale back to down the dog. Inhale up with the right leg, three legged doggy, make it active, push out through the heel, place that foot in between, or pick it up and put it there. Then you're going to slowly step on in. This time I want you to drop your tail, push up through your feet, extend up long, and come down to heart centre. Now you've just done one half of the sun salutation. I'll step you through it again on the other side, okay? But these are wonderful. Over in villages in India, the whole town will come out and do perhaps 108 sun salutations every morning. It's communal, but it's also good for their health and well-being. Let's do the other side. So once you get the hang of this, you can coordinate breath and movement. As I said earlier, it becomes like a moving meditation. So come with me, we'll step through that. Let's inhale. As you expand your body, exhale as you contract. Inhale, hands to shins, you're in that bell shape once again. Tuck the chin, keep drawing your belly in, that protects your lower back. Exhale as you fold down into a forward fold. Step back with the left leg, straight and strong into that runner's lunge. Exhale back to downward doggy. Come forward on your tippy toes, float forward into a plank. Now once again, as I said, you can have your knees down. Okay, push down with your knuckles. That'll take the pressure off of your wrist. You can grip with the ends of your little fingers. Exhale as you come down. You can hover in crocodile. Okay, come into cobra once again. Neck and spine and line. Look a few feet in front. That'll help with that. Tuck the toes. Imagine you're pulling up from your belly. That's what's taking your tail and the side back to down the floor. Inhale up with that left leg this time. As you exhale, you can put the knee down and pick it up and put it there, or you can just take it in. Continue to exhale as you step on in. Drop your tail, push up through those feet once again, and come down the heart center. Beautiful. You've just done a sun salutation, both sides. Now I'm going to take you through another lap each side, and we'll add a couple of bits and pieces in. And that'll just give you a bit of an example of how you can build a whole sequence around doing sun salutations, or we can just keep it nice and simple, just repeat what you just did there as many times as you wish. As I said, 108. Where it's every part of your body, you're doing back bends, forward bends, you're working your core, doing your hips, your shoulders. It's a beautiful exercise. Okay? Beautiful asana and sequence. Let's go. You ready? Let's do the other side. Inhale up. Exhale. Swan dive. Hands to shins. Draw the shoulder blades into a V down your back. Exhale as you fall back down. Step back with the right leg. Straight and strong. Chest up if you can. Exhale back to downward dog. Come up on your tippy toes. Float forward into that plank once again. Remember, you can do it on your knees if you wish. It's up to you. Come on down. Hover. Inhale through the up dog this time. Exhale back to downward dog. 
Inhale up with that right leg into three-legged dog. Push the standing leg into the floor. Place that foot in between or pick it up and put it there. Now, we're going to put our back foot down flat this time. We're going to inhale up into a warrior one, okay? Then we're going to exhale, open out to warrior two. We're going to inhale over the sun warrior. Then we're going to exhale back to warrior two. Inhale round to that warrior one again. Step on in. And come back to heart centre. Just give yourself a little moment. Now this can be as active or as passive as you want to make them, okay? Let's do the other side. Let's inhale up. Swan dive, lead with the heart. Hands to shins, inhale. Exhale as you fall back down, step back with the left leg, straight and strong. Exhale back to down with the Float forward, come into your plank. As I said, brace your core, even brace your thighs out through your heels, that'll help keep you steady. Come down like a scissor lift. You want those elbows hugging in against the ribs? Come down, hover in crocodile, or come straight through to up dog once again. Draw your shoulders back, open your heart, pull up from the belly, pull lower energy center, take the tail back to the sky, inhale up with the left leg, place that foot gently in between, back foot's going to come down flat, we're going to inhale up into warrior one, exhale over there to warrior two, inhale over the sun warrior, exhale back to warrior two, round to warrior one, and we'll just step on in. And you can add bits and pieces of that. And as I said, build the whole sequence around your sun salutations, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're just going to tuck our chin. We're going to roll on down. That's fine to roll up. We're going to step back into a plank, okay? We're going to bring our knees down. Bring those hands underneath the shoulders, okay? Now, if you don't get the chance to do the sun salutation every day, as part of a warm up or any sequence, really, I would try and include a bit of cat cow, okay? It's actually two sequences, but we flow them together. So we want shoulders above the wrists, as I said, hips above the knees. And what we do is we go tailbone, tummy, head and chest in both directions. So you're going to take an inhale breath. As you exhale, it's tailbone, tummy, chest and head. You come up like that Halloween cat. Then you inhale back the other way, come back like a sway back cow or horse. But cow in this instance, come back and visualize that breath flowing along your spine. Up and go. This is one of the best things to do every morning because overnight, as you lay in bed, toxins build up along your spine and this releases them, gets those energy channels flowing, clears them out, unblocks them. Well, let me just do a couple here. Draw up through that belly, visualize the breath flowing along your spine, all the way over the crown of your head to your third eye. Then as you exhale, all the way back as you pull that tongue in. Inhale, exhale, and just flatten out. Then come back into child's pose. Keep the hands out in front just for a little moment. Pull back on the heels of those palms. Okay. Pull back. Give your upper back, your thoracic area. A bit of a stretch. You can tuck the chin, lengthen the spine a little bit more. A couple of breaths there. Reconnect with that nice, full, complete yoga breath. Draw the breath down into your lower back, your middle part. Expand it out the side, breathe right up in your armpits. And then bring those arms by your side, pour in the mat. Come into child's pose or the last and just relax. And then take an inhale breath and come on up. And as you exhale, come down to heart centre. And thank you very much for joining me in a beautiful little fixed sequence. We'll have more for you real soon. Namaste.